when you look at Margaret Sanger mm-hmm. and and what she really believed and um I mean I I read her stuff and she was I believe a monster uh, on her belief she was clearly a racist um but she just thought of you know children as undesirables and most of them should be eliminated um especially in certain communities mm-hmm. how much of that is not not with the people who are coming in and not even at the people at the local clinics but up at the top level is it is there a difference between the local clinic and the people up at the top of Planned Parenthood for sure yeah I mean your everyday worker in the clinic in your local clinic they have no idea about what's going on in upper management so all these quotas that you have as a director um, the financial incentives all of that that's tell me about those quotas and the financial incentives so each clinic has and and each affiliate sort of breaks down for each clinic how many abortions you have to sell each month to your patients and that's how they come up with their budget for abortion services which is odd because if you're treating cancer you're not necessarily saying we've got to go find more kids with cancer right yeah um, and you're happy if cancer patients are down. Right. Exactly. Yeah. No, not in this case. Now that's what they tell people though. They tell people or they used to tell people when I first got safe involved, rare. safe, legal, rare, right? They don't say that anymore. Now it's just about access, access at any cost. So at the cost of health regulations, at the cost of patient safety, no matter what, we just want abortion as accessible as possible. But uh, when you are a manager, when you meet those quotas, then there's a financial incentive. For so you. you get a bonus as the manager. Did so you hit those bonuses? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that money now? You know, uh, I felt like I, I mean, I feel like I, I, I do about all the money that I, I mean, I made a lot of money working there. Um, it was all money from corruption, primarily from abortion, pushing my staff to increase abortion numbers. Um, it's disgusting. It's despicable. But that's abortion. It's a business. 